Acts 13, what an exciting chapter. Here we are seeing the early church not only take form, but spread. We see the enemy using every weapon it can against it, yet it still prospers. In verse 52, it said the believers were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit because the two go together. And what I love about it is that we're starting to see the kingdom of God realized. People from different countries, different cultures and colors are coming together with one thing in common, Jesus. The world has always struggled with this kind of unity. Even religion struggle, but the kingdom of God does not. Until I understood that the kingdom of God is we, not me, I didn't understand individual suffering. I didn't understand persecution, poverty, or death. The beauty of Acts 13 is that God's people are no longer living as me, but as we, with one purpose, to preach the gospel. Here's the truth. Most of the New Testament promises in the Bible are about we, not me. They are about serving God, not about serving selfish desires. We are more than conquerors through Christ. We are members of his body. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. All I can say is this, if you're living the kingdom of God as me, you're doing it wrong. And you're missing the beauty, love, and the power that he intended for us. 1 Peter 2, 9 says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God.